Hi, my name's Dave, and this is The Life of Brian. Okay, here are the parts of number 48. Let's get these open and see how this goes on the car. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the episode of The Life of Brian. And we are getting back into the Eagle Moss build the DeLorean from Back to the Future. And we are back with issue number 48, or the Widowmaker, as we'll be calling it from now on in. Um, this is what we got with the issue. There is a mass load of wires um, and cables. So what they, these are cables that are going around the car and going onto our dashboard. Now, the thing with these, they aren't labeled. So first thing I need to do is go via the magazine, hopefully it's right, please be right. Uh, and go through and make sure I know which wire is which to follow the instructions through. So I'll cut away now and I'll just sort the wires out so I know which ones I'm using and I'll be straight back with you guys. Okay, boys and girls, I am back and I have now sorted out the wires into the order. I'm fairly sure they're right, so we'll be able to get cracking on with this issue. Uh, this is an issue I am terrified about. Um, so those guys who normally watch my videos and comment and tell me when I've done errors, please, if you see this and I've made a mistake, please jump on, let me know, uh, so I can get this fixed as quick as possible, because uh, this is not going to be fun, I'm not going to enjoy this much, uh, but glad you guys are here to see that. Uh, but really, I'm going to get on with this, but a massive thank you, again, the channel's grown a little bit more, uh, a few more viewers, a few more subscriptions, awesome, 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 uh, I can't thank you all enough, but come on, I'm putting it off, let's get into this, shall we? And the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going back to cable 45C, which is this one that's coming out the back, so we've already got the wire in place. Uh, now what it wants to do, it needs to pass from here, come round in between these two parts here, so in the, well I guess behind them from where we're looking, but yeah, this gap down here, it's going to come in there, and then it's going to feed under here, it's going to come round down here, underneath, and then join in here and feed to the middle of here, so all the wires are still together right through the centre of that. Um, so let's uh, get that one done first, it looks like it needs to be quite tight. Uh, as we go around. So we'll get this tried and so this comes in behind those two like that and then I guess like this. Now yeah, it needs to be nice and tight so it's as tight as I really want to pull it to be totally honest with you. Uh, we'll come around. This one might be the most straightforward wire we'll do this issue but that is then going to come out of there like that so that is, by the looks of it, wire one done. Looks to be the case. Uh, the only thing it wants you to do really is all these cables, so we'll just turn this back over, are to go and sort of feed down the side of here. So it's shown all the wires pressed down here. Now, to be honest, I don't know how much that's going to matter um, when we connect it all together. As long as they're out of the way, of the pegs, uh, those pegs there and these pegs up here, when it connects to the base, I don't think it's going to matter so much, but you know, they're pulled over there for now. Um, so I'll just lie that back down. Uh, so there we go, first wire in place, and what we'll do is we shall move on. Now is we're going to bring back in our floor uh, to fit this console onto. So I'm just going to get that now, we'll pull it into a screen. Uh, what I would like to show you now as well is I'm just going to cut away. Um, Mike Lane sent me another version of the carpets, the one which were were cut as I made a bit of a hash the first time I did this. Um, so what I'll do is I'm just going to cut in now of me just laying down the separated carpets, that, whether it's in two pieces, uh, and just so you can see that it went on a bit easier for me. So here we go. Right, so I've got this ready. I've got the first part just peeled. Now what I should be able to do now is because we don't have the side, it's still really tacky, but what I should be able to do is to actually get this lined up much better and not with not having those center points to mess it up I should be able to lay this down and then gradually slide it up now what you can't see is under here so I'm just going to show you so that's you can see already because that's going around that's fitting as it is with these things it fits perfectly because that's the way Mike's designed it now I should be able to now work this up and it is all fingers for now guys I do apologize for that but I will show you where we are in just a second just going around the second of these, so if I just lift it up to where we are so far, as you can see it fits really really well, uh, so I'm just going to continue on with the peel, and what this should do is, I just want to make sure it's going to get all up in here, 
have a little bit of a bowl there, so I'm just going to peel that back a tiny bit. Now again, it might not be perfect, but it's going to be a lot better than it was last time. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of the paper off now, so it's uncovered. Because yeah, I'm just going to get some bubbles, so I do want to keep those at a minimum. And just sort of feed this up with my fingers here. Get around that last one there. And really just make sure it's coming right into here. Sticking right down. And we'll go behind that. Now, I have a little air bubble there. A little bubble where it's kind of moved up. But other than that, it's a much more successful take. It's just a little bit up there. So you can see that it's gone. It's fitting so much better than last one. There's a little gap there, but that's fine. It's going to be hidden. But now with that, there's no extra bits I've had to put in here. I haven't had to put anything down here. That fits wonderfully. We'll do the rest on here. I know all in here is a tightness against my fingers. Uh, apologies for any of that. Now, should fit down here lovely around where it needs to go and then should fold over there go, that's in lovely now I've got a little bit of a gap there but that's just from bad maybe not great at this but as you can see that's over lift that up it's over where it needs to be and just push a screwdriver through there to open that hole up a little bit more and now that is going to come down over the hole I need it and I say this is where we're going to get just a tiny bit tricky so I'm just going to move this around there and then push that around there I'm just going to bring in a screwdriver just so I can just give that a press down around the back of there where it's on and then give that a push all the way down like that now that my friends I think you will agree is a much better job than it last so time. Set the console being brought back in, and we're now going to put the dashboard onto that. Um, so this is going to be straightforward. I would have thought because it should just go in. So we've got the pinholes here and here and here and here, and obviously they're just going to line up with. If I turn this over, uh, those two there, and these two here. Now you see my massive wires are just all over there. So I'm just going to move that, and this one here, uh, which they label as 43A, again just needs to come out so it's out the way. So make sure that these are all coming through and there's nothing sort of in the way of that going to connect onto there so now what you do is we'll pull this around and we're just going to fire this onto here now that is on that is our um our center console with our dashboard on it now what it needs to do is that should be sat pretty well on where it's going to fasten in what we need to do is we need to flip it over and it's going to get connected by four FP screws. Okay, so I've got the wires all through. You can see all the wires kind of feeding through here, making sure there's nothing kind of caught. They're all kind of free moving, um, but there are the holes are free of everything going in them. Okay, so what we need to do now is obviously connect this all together with the FP screws. Uh, so let's get these in now. And the FP screws, they're just going to go in this hole here, this hole here, and down the bottom, these two holes here, and it's just going to connect the whole thing together. So let's load up the screwdriver. I think what I'll do is I'm going to load one the bottom of it here, and then go at the top, and just so it's kind of secured itself. And if I could not drop a screwdriver. Now what I've found is my screwdrivers are <laughs> quickly becoming unmagnetized, um, just from the amount I've been doing with them. So I need a nice new cheap set. So Santa Claus, if you're listening. Oh, by the way, this is filmed on like the 21st of December. Uh, 2017 uh, so that's why I'm just asking Santa for some new screwdrivers It'd be weird if you're watching this in sort of May really anytime it's not December um, then I was asking Santa Claus for stuff right so we'll just fire this screw in get it nice and tight because that's gonna really hold this together there we go. that's right in as far as it can go so that's number one done uh, so we'll grab the next screw and we'll get the next one in so I've got the second one, and what I'm going to do is pick this up, and I'm going to go into one of the top holes here, and I think I'm going to go opposite side to where I went down the bottom, so just in here. And it's quite a tight hole, this one, so I'm just going to start it off. Now that's a bad angle, Dave, so let's just retread our steps there, so I can get as straight as we can until it starts to take in there. There we go. And we'll just screw that down nice and tight again, so it's just holding the two pieces together. 
So that is those two in. So now we just need to complete this by getting the next screw. Well, not complete, get the next screw in. So I'll just pick this up and we'll just go in this second top one here and just to complete that top section. So that'll go into there. And again, we'll just start it off, make sure it's going in nice and straight, nice and tight and get that. There we go, that one's lovely. So now we just need the one more to complete this. So pick this up again. The screw's gonna go in here now. Oh. What I'm gonna do is just turn this around so I can actually hold the um, two parts together, just with my fingers, uh, just so it gets a bit more leeway, not leeway, um, better clamp on there really. Um, oh, wish I was better at this, <laughs> I really do. Uh, but thanks for sticking with me. Uh, it means a lot that you guys are still watching uh, through all of this. Um, it's nice to have your support. So that one's in. And again, we'll just now, that's kind of the best. There we go. You can just see this one going right in there, sealing that down. So they are all tight in there. So you've got the four screws. You can see there, one, two, three, four. And then flip that up. That is all connected and looking lovely. So that wire is still, uh, it's maybe not as tight as I would have liked it. But you know what, that looks, that's okay. It's every, I guess the way people do these, the wiring's probably gonna be different. Everybody's very slightly, the way it's tightened uh, and the way it's been screwed in. So that is fine with me. Uh, that looks, that looks great. Um, let's see, so you already see the back of this now. You can't really see the carpet, that's kind of covered. So I've got some lumps and bumps where it's not quite laid down properly, already partly covered. I'll push that steering wheel where it should be. There we go. So we are really moving on with this. That is done, but now it's wire time. <laughs> okay, this is our next piece. Um, now you probably can't see very much, but what I will do is I'll pick it up and I will zoom into it as well. So here we go, we have this piece. Now this is part 48A. Now what we need to do is we're going to identify all the cables and what we're going to do is we're going to run the cables through these sort of holes here, not sort of holes, they are holes. There you go, see them better there. And what we're going to do is the wires are going to loop, take finger away, sorry, uh, loop in there. So it needs to be at the halfway point of every wire we put through, it needs to go through this and pull tight through it. So the almost, basically we're going to do some sewing, really basic wire sewing, uh, but make sure we have all the right wires through and they're all tight against uh, this bit and there's half the wire out of each side. Um, this could take some time. I will talk through it while I do it and then if it needs to, I'll speed it up after I've shot it. Um, so we'll just put this down and we'll get the wires that need to start going in here. All right, so what I've done there is I've just kind of separated out the wires as much as I kind of could um, to get them together so they're not they're still masked. So obviously that's still knotted together and wound, well wound together, and then you've got these wires. What it wants to do, as I said, is to thread them through to the halfway point. So let's get this started. Uh, it does say it wants you to do it with the, starting from the small tab end. Um, if you want to know which one's the small tab, which one's the, bi the big tab, yeah, I guess you measure them, but the big tab is the one with the flat side. So that's flat. That one is sort of a angled edge. So we've got that there. So um, starting from small tab side, let's start spreading some shedding. Let's get some wires through, shall we? Uh, and let's see, I'll do this as quick as I can. Well, not as quick as I can. I'll take my time because I don't want to mess this up at all. Now, where are the first two go? So they're going in front of the tab and then just turning through. So. Guys, this is probably gonna be a bit of the video that I will jump ahead on. I'll do the first couple, because this might not be the, I mean, this could take hours. So that's the first one coming through there, you can just see. So I'm gonna do now, just pull it through, 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 through. So what I'm now going to do is just feed that back down into the other side. Right, okay. And then pull that one. 
through there or not as the case may be that's just through feed that in oh come on Okay, so pull that in. There we go. So that's sort of halfway. First one through, uh, just like that. I'm hoping that's about right because they're obviously going to have to reach a certain point in the car uh, once they're all connected. So what I'll do is I'm just going to put this on, speed it up a bit so you can see this a bit quicker. Okay, after much toing and froing with these wires and where it says it needs to be in the middle, this is what I've done. As you can see now, I've untangled the end that was already tied when we got it, because I think that was more for the magazine to say, look, this is how it should be at this end. But it left the wires in a bit of a mess because of the way they've been tangled and I couldn't get halfway quite right. Uh, what I would say is do not mark your wires like I did, as now that's halfway up here and that's gonna look a bit of a mess. Hopefully I can get that covered when I put them on the actual car. Um, so yeah, so these ends will need to be twisted. Okay, what we need to bring back in now is the centre console and dashboard, and then we're gonna get this onto there. So I'll get those in now. Okay, now what it does tell you to do on these, it tells you to twist the ends of these together. Now it was twisted obviously when we first got them at the magazine, but now I've got them all kind of much neater than they were. Uh, just go along and sort of twist the ends up of your wires. I don't think you'll need to go too far with the twisting, um, just enough so that it's actually gonna be held together uh, on the wires. So yeah, just go around them again, just twist those up, just so you've got an end point really. Uh, there we go, just give those a bit of a twist. So yeah, what you've got there is oh, your wire and you've got two twisted ends, so you're very much the same. That is still in the middle, uh, which is what I'm most happy about. Uh, that there, like that. Um, I do apologize, this video is kind of all over the place. It's um, been a bit of a mare, but hey, we're getting there, we're getting through. So now what we need to do, this needs to go onto the car. And this goes in one, oh, only goes in one way, so make sure you get this in the right way. Uh, there we go, there we go, clips into, it just clicks into place, uh, straightforward like that. So what you'll see there is you've got a very flat edge there and a little bit of a shape on there, but yeah, if you push those in, that sits really nice and neat on there. I'll just move this a bit so you can actually see more of the wire like that. That is on top of there. Our wires flying out like arms here. And what we need to do now is to manipulate these wires around the dashboard. So what we'll do is we'll start with this one as it tells us to in the magazine. So we'll just turn this around. This wire needs to come up over the dashboard and it needs to come into the side here like that you can see that going around there and then underneath here if you have a look I'll just try and get the angle so you can see yeah so you can just see the hole here and that is just coming out of the back of here so this wire needs to feed through that so they are coming out the back so I'll try and I don't think it's going to give you guys a decent angle to see me do that but I'm just going to feed that through now should be fairly straightforward, just like threading a needle. Get the first, there we go, if I can get a hold of it like I have. And then what we're gonna do, and just let the wires through enough um, so we can then get them where we need them to be. Oh, flat wire's just there. Now what you need to see on the back is the point here. We're obviously gonna put over one of those fastening uh, things, bits of plastic. So that's gonna go through there and be fastened down. So that's great, that fits fine. And that's quite tight around there. I know this is going to also have a, a cable tie on it, uh, which is then going to keep that all in place as well. Um, so that's the first one done. Obviously, we've got the other end on there as well. Other end needs to be taken, and it's just going to come. Let's have a look. It's going to come around here. It's going to come to the side, around past the speaker, and then it's going to go around this end here. And then you can see underneath 
there you can just see behind there, there that's where this wire is going to come through as well so again we're going to feed this one through again just like threading our wire needle there we go get that through the other end and we're going to pull it nice and tight as tight as we can now maybe we should have tied these after the fact because not all the wires are as tight as I'd like them through this I'm just going to loosen these off so I can pull individual wires that aren't it's the brown wire here so I just want to pull them through so they are nice and tight against that and then we'll redo the wires and we'll just make sure they're nice like that and then what they'll do is they'll come down and again we've got a point here where that's going to go across and be fastened down so what you've got there is that is the basics of how those wires should look that's lovely and neat against there they're actually pretty neat and now I've undone them I uh, say so I do feel that the best way to do them is to completely unravel them the ends that are twisted get them nice and straight through that center point and then re put them through get them right that plastic right in the center retie them and put them on that's how I found out and this that you're seeing is not the first time I've tried this um, it's been on here twice and didn't work uh, so that's why it had to be rejigged but I find that that is now a much better fit um, wires look lovely coming out of there I don't think they need to be exact and straight and they probably could look neater but I quite like like that they are a bit higgledy piggledy again everyone's bill is not going to look exactly the same once it's all done and I think that's a good thing um, that we should all have slight variations on how our car looks once it's done it's just a sign of how the people have built it which I really like so that is that next stage done that's the first wire in wow there's a lot of wires this year yeah right so now that's done and they're in we need to move on okay next thing that we need we need wires 48 C and D so I'm just gonna pull those both in now once it's actually to do these both together um, so what it says to place 48 B uh, 48 C and 48 D together um, which are these two here and uh, we need to position them around the part on the top of the dashboard then down under and through the back now when it says through the back um, these are gonna come out of again two holes so the wire is going to come out of this one and this one so these are the two holes we're aiming to get these out of uh, i'm just going to place that down so we're going to get these two wires and just measure these up against each other they hopefully should be around the same length if they're expecting us to do that together indeed they are so they're pretty much exact i think what i'm going to do is going to actually zoom this camera out a bit because i'm not getting everything in give us two seconds Sorry about that guys, so, yeah, I just wanted to zoom that out a bit because it was a very close up, which it helps for some of it, but not for all of it. So here are uh, C and D, um, 48 C and D, the two wires they want us to do. Now, what I need to do, see how this threads. So I think what we're best to do, I'm gonna turn this around. I've got the end that we really need facing us. So get these as close to exact as possible. Uh, now, these two need to go through behind here like so so they're both wrapping around both of these and coming down and out so i just press that in there so they're coming out of there there's a lot of wires packed around the back of this car and i want to keep them pretty much halfway so we're getting sort of an exact fit so it's going to wobble all over guys so it's not Again, I know you apologize that this, this is not the best video for you to watch these, but uh, I like to see you to see exactly how I do it and some of my failings. Um, as long as you're getting a decent look at this build, and sort of the trickiest thing that we've had to do so far, this video is going to be really long. Um, so do apologize for that. Uh, if you're bored, that's fine. You can get yourselves off, do something else. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to go behind them. What I'm finding out is this one is the tricky to get around there I think it's just the positioning of my hands there we go so that round there in fact I've got some tweezers here still I'm just gonna poke that down with there. there we go so that goes down behind them so that is behind there and we've got the wires coming out of here so there, it's about halfway the wires are about the right length coming out the sides there uh, and what we need to do now is take these around the back of here and then out and through the gap. You'll just see me thread these through in just two seconds. He said, not able to find There's one, there's the other. So we'll just get those nice and tight 
as we come through on there. Uh, just make sure that they are correct around there. Oh no, they're a bit looser actually around the back of there. In on there like that and out of there. So that is the first one. I will pull that tight obviously as we fasten that down. You can see there was a fixing point just here. That's where that'll go. These two come around. Now they're actually going. Oh no, I've caught the magazine. They go through these these wires that we've already put in place. So they're going underneath them and then coming through and out the same hole like so. Uh, the other one's a bit, oh, it's a bit more. There we go. It's so that coming through like that as well. So we've got the two wires. They're going then under and through those all coming together on the front of there. Has pulled those down, but I'll just move those back, manipulate them back. Um, they're on there like that coming through and out of the back of here as well. On to our next wire. And here we have 45E. So now with this one, let's have a look. So, you know it's 45E, it's got two separate ends there, um, and they need to be at the top end of the car. What this is gonna do, it's actually gonna follow the other wire. So this one's actually gonna come out of the back of here. So I'm actually gonna feed this through this hole first, I think. Uh, let me have a, oh, so out of there. That's then going to come up and over with these are the wires. And then it's just going to sort of lie in the middle of the dash uh, for now. Um, now. Again, they should all fit through here so they're all fastened down when you're done. Um, now, I hope these, I don't know if they're going to need to plug into something. Um, if they do, I need to reach. I'm not sure if it will yet, but we'll leave that for now because it's not tied in. It's not stuck anywhere. We're just kind of laying the wire groundwork at the moment. Okay, so next thing we are doing, we're actually going to be leaving the wires for a second. We're actually going to be cable tying some of these together and neaten them up. Um, so the first thing it's asking us to do is to cable tie over here. So we're just going to bring this around so you guys can see. And it's asking us to just bring this around so it's cable tying. Let's have a look. Yeah, so just over the speaker. Um, now, I know for later that needs to kind of have a bit of stretch in it. So I'm just going to bring that in as much as I can. So we're going to bring all these together, all these wires. And once the cable ties are just after where the speaker is, so around here, through there. Now I'm not going to tighten this up until I know for certain that we are where we need to be. So we're going to bring this in, tighten it a little. I do have some spares if there are any issues and need to cut this off that red wire here it needs to be able to reach that middle part there so just make sure these are all nice and neat where you want them through where you need them because once you've tightened this up you are going to lose a lot of give and leeway they're going to be pretty much fastened so you want to make sure they're all going to be able to go down here still and all fastened behind the car so that feels okay so i'm going to tighten these up a bit And I think if I just, all right, that's nice and tight. So now I can pull these through. That'll stay on there. I think that might not be quite where they should be, but as long as that one's still going to reach, yes, it should. That's our first one there. Obviously, we'll cut off um, this here as well. So yeah, that's nice and tight around there. It says to remove the excess, so we'll do that now. Just come in and just right on the edge there. First one done. It does kind of hold those and neaten those together, but still gives them a little bit of a little bit of messiness. So I quite like that. Um, so that's that one done. Okay, our next step we are going to be using um, wire again. It's 48F, and this is the one that has four split ends. I'll just bring that in now. And what we need to do with this one? We're going to pick this up, turn it around. This one needs to come in the back here needs to come out sort of the, the way the wires went in when we first did the the ones coming out of there so actually again thread this through and see if I can get a hold of it this might be a tweezer job I think yeah I think so let's get some tweezers uh, so this kind of goes off camera for you guys but 
bit of a struggle just to oh you know what i'm such an idiot i could just feed it that way through of course that would make a much easier way of doing it oh, honestly <laughs> it's been a long day right so that needs to come out of there now it's these parts that we need and these need to be up here now what they're going to do is they are going to connect at some point into there uh, so what I need to do is just make sure they have enough to fasten in behind here. So again, it's going to fasten in with the rest of these. Uh, but I'll give it as much wire as I can. And there. And then what we need to do is we're going to be using another one of the cable ties. And what we're going to be doing with these cable ties, we're going to be literally combining all of these. Getting a cable tie around them and just securing everything together. And as I said, this needs to go around all of these wires here and keep those all together as well. So I need to leave quite a bit of length, I think, in these to plug into these red parts. So it's going to be a case of getting all these wires in, make sure we have enough out there as well, and gather them all together. It looks like ones are just on the edge of here. So I'll try and find the best way of getting this in, I think. Nice and tight on there. So that is all those wires nice and tight and now we should again remove the excess off this so just pick this up ever so slightly not that angle uh, there we go excess off there as well right so we have our wires all there they are now connected uh next thing we're going to be do we'll just spin this round so you can actually see the better good look there so we've got the wires coming out there not too many there, but that's fine. Those in there. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to get uh, 48H, which is again um, a one of the red wires. I'll just grab that now. Now this wire is going to go again through this hole in the back here, uh, but it's going to feed out on this side. So it's going to come out and it needs to come up. Let's just make sure we get this right. It's going to come up like looks at it, down the side of here. And so it just hangs out the back of here. Um, right, okay. So let's get this one sorted as well. I'm trying to see the hole that's going to come through. Uh, that's going to come out the other side of there. So again, I'm going to just do is I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to feed this wire a much better view this way, actually, of the hole. So I'll just... I didn't think it was going to be any quicker, but I've got a better view. <laughs> right, that's a bit sort of bent. So if I can just get that, there we go. That'll go straight out of there. That'll come out the back. There we go. This is to come up here between these. Between those and over, that seems. Should it go under those wires? Have I got that too tight? I think that should go. They should definitely be cut down there. And now I think. Oh, I can probably get some. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just mumbling to myself. I know, guys. Do apologize for that. Uh, this wire is going to go in here between these and out like this okay so yes it's come out of there but that's going to come up through there around the side and then over these now these wires are going to attach again into these red parts back here um, so I want to make sure that there's a uh, four in there as well so we're going to plug into certain holes in there so that just doesn't seem to sit quite right, you know. Uh, give me two seconds. I just want a quick check on this. Yeah, so I need enough for these to kind of fit into some of these holes. So what I want to do, actually, I'm just going to stick one in. Hmm. I think it's just me, to be honest, that I've done this not very well. Um, nice and tight. Let's try this again. So this has to go over here in between there and there. So you can see it's just going between the uh, speedometer, the 88 mile an hour speedometer, and then it's gonna come through the back, which is where I have issues in getting that in. Again, I'm really sorry guys, if you're getting a really terrible view on all of this. Um, normal service will be resumed. <laughs> I guess a lot of you are going, this is normal service. Dave, uh, you aren't very good at this. And I know, I know. But let's have fun with it while we can, yeah? This is certainly 
the trickiest it's been in the time of me doing this. Oh, you, you. <laughs> Bring that round a bit, maybe I can get a better view. No, because I've already dropped the white. Oh, actually, I might if I just push it. Push it real good. There we go, is that coming out? No, <laughs> no it's not. There we go, there we go, I've got it. All right, so that is coming out of the back of there now. Not quite sure where that's gonna fasten in, but I'm sure I'm probably in this middle point here. Right, but that's in there. The wire is coming right. Just need to poo myself when that horn went off. <laughs> but that's coming up here between the time 30 bits. Um, that should be coming around there quite tight. Okay, so it's a bit of a mess of these at the minute, but they are gonna plug in in a second and we'll be able to sort them out shortly. Um, so let's get into what we need to do next. So we have yet another cable tie. Uh, what I need to do is I need to turn the car around again. Now what this is connecting together is the wire coming out of the speedometer. Uh, these two wires here, they're going around the back and nice and flush and also this red wire as well. So I need to get around all of those. So let's, I think I'll go behind and get some, I think I'll go forward. <laughs> It's just finding a way to get through them all, to be honest. Uh, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I'll turn that around. So, this is gonna go in there like so. We'll just start that a little tighter there, so that's in. Let's make sure that I get all these wires as tight as it wants them to go. So what I'm gonna do is just hold that like that, so those wires and nice and tight. Everything else is through. And then we're just gonna fire this as tight as we can, those wires. Okay, leave go of those. And again, we're just gonna get rid of the excess. Just bring this as again. Okay, there we go. Excess off there as well. So what we have here is another cable tie holding those wires down there. So they are much more manageable. Um, and they look pretty good. Uh, I mean, these bits, yes, these are a mess, but we're going to get on those next. So let's move on. And here is that wire. This is a lovely multicolored uh, stranded wire. Uh, one long bit and some shorter bits. I'm sure that's for a reason. And uh, this one, it's going again, but this is going straight under, under there. So the bit that we got this, these wires already feeding through, so we'll just feed that through. They're attached at the end. They're all tied, so. I'm guessing they're not plugging into anything, just gonna be secured down. Um, but there they are, they're just in there. And let's say where these wires need to go again, these are gonna come around with these. So these are gonna go against there, as they were. And that's gonna come around. Now, where are they gonna to go to? Let's have a look. Okay, so I need to turn this around. Now, okay, I don't know if you can actually see this, but in the underneath of this bit here, there are eight holes all inside in the bottom of that, which these wires now need to feed into. And they've sort of color given you a way of doing it. So it goes red, yellow, red, blue. And the other side, again, it's red, yellow, red, blue. Um, so obviously the longer ones that we have are gonna go in this furthest one away. So we'll do those first. Hopefully this will work okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take that out of where it's been set. We'll do these wires in here first. So we'll plug them in and then we'll feed in. Yeah, that's the right order. And then we'll feed this in through the actual, so it comes out the hole. Um, I think that's gonna be the best way of doing it. So, red wire. Just hold that up. I do apologize, this is a bit fiddly and So yeah, it just kind of feeds under. It's not an actual, it's not that tight, but it will just feed in. So we'll get red one in. 
and then we've got the oh, yellow one I wonder whether it see I don't want to be putting glue on this because it's not gonna it's not gonna hold it very well because otherwise you're gonna get big globs of glue sticking out of this and that's not what I want um, I don't know who else has actually gone ahead and tried to glue this let's try and get it without let's see if we can we can do this Wow, this is the longest episode in the world. If you have tuned out already, I respect that decision. <laughs> if you're still here watching, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> you are the crazy people. Um, let's have a look. Right, okay, come on. Let's get these in. I'll try and keep this in camera as much as I can, guys. But, uh, you know, stuff happens sometimes that I can't show you guys the way I'd like to. Especially when it comes to stuff like this. Uh, that just goes in. You see, but as soon as I now go for this, that's in like that. But as soon as I go now get the yellow wire, that pops out. Um, okay. Uh, why are you complicated? <laughs> the magazine should have said this before I bought any of this. It should have just said this is going to be complicated. Uh, and this goes red blue. The worst thing is these wires don't actually they're not doing anything. These are just aesthetics on the, the car. So real person is whoever designed this initially uh, <laughs> this is your fault that I'm struggling. Uh, so just take note. You're on my bad list. Sandy will not be delivering presents to you this year. That's right. I'm mean like that. Now you see, now those two are in. Oh, can I now get the yellow one? Ooh, maybe. Let's have a look. I get that at the end there. And just. Yeah, come on. Ah, so close. So close. Of course the blue ones come out. Uh, I haven't hit in the right place. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. That's it. In you go. Guys, I know I'm not seeing very much, and it's all just watching me do this. Um, I do apologise, but it's a bit trickier than I thought it was going to be. So, bear with me. Um, and I'll get to you guys as soon as I can. Uh, and there, a second. Just out of my way. Just get this one here to line up and go in there. Oh, you can come over here. I'm just gonna bend you a little bit. Oh, nearly. Very nearly. There we go. Come on, last one, last one. Okay, that is the first four in place. Um, now, I just need to repeat that with this one here and those four wires here. It's not going at all. Guys, I'm gonna take this out of shot for a little while. I'm just gonna try and get these wires in. I need a better angle. I'll be back in two minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back with you. Uh, I've made a few things I need to advise you of. Um, I have one skipped ahead. They shouldn't be in there yet, um, but I've done them so that they are in. Um, and what I had to do is I had to turn to super glue because this I don't know why they come a bit I should there um, these would not hold when I was putting so I got some in then they pop out and I put other lines in so I was having some real issues so yeah they've got I've literally dabbed them into the, the end of the wire into the super glue and slotted it in where I need to go so it's stuck fast so they're all glued so they're not going to come out anywhere uh, what I should have dealt with is these wires before we went on to that stage. So I'm just going to do those now and hopefully they'll be fairly quick. We may have to use some glue again if they're not going to hold. 
Uh, first two wires that we're going to be using are these coming off for these these wires here. And these are going to go in the first two. I don't know if you can see, there's two little holes in there. And that's what these need to go. So, I may need to, yeah, they're fine. Even with this cable tight, it's not too tight. So, I should be able to just add one in and two in. So, they are fairly straightforward. Those ones are in where they need to be. That's cool. Uh, next was the one with the four wires coming out of here. And they're going to go into this again, this first red bracket here. One of the wires is going to go in the first hole next to the two got filled. So I'm just going to move this black wire a touch so we can see it. Let's just see. You probably can't. It's a terrible angle. Uh, there's one hole left in there that needs to be filled with a red wire. Uh, let's see if I can get to it. There we go. If I move that black wire down now, so that should help us get this one in as well. And that should just pop in there as well. So, yeah, we've got the three wires going into there. Now, obviously, what it leaves us with is three more wires still free. And they just go in the opposite side. So, they're going to go in all of here. Is that right? Let me just check. Ah, no, two of them are, one of them is not. So, two of these are going to go in the first and second of these holes here, but one is going to come across and into there. So, if I can just make sure I've got enough. So, that one, I'll go into the first one. Oh, no, not. Easier said than done on this one. First one's in really straightforwardly and easy, so of course this one wasn't going to be. Uh, I, for one, am very happy to see the back of this issue. Not just the page, obviously. <laughs> That'd be weird. Really look forward to seeing the back where it shows me the pieces that I've just had a nightmare using. Uh, yeah, this one does not want to go into its little hole here. Oh, hang on. Nope, just pull it out again. Again, and only apologize, guys, for the angles that you guys are getting. I will try and show you as much of this work once I get the wires in, but it is about getting them into the car and secured. So if I just get this first one in, I think I'll be okay. Wasn't being a, a big, massive bum face. Uh, oh, there we go. So, first uh, one goes over to this side. Now, the other two go into the first two holes on this side. So, if we grab either one, doesn't really matter. <laughs> Just whichever one's going to be easier. Um, I'll bend that over like so. And the second one as well. It's going to go in here too. Bend that down. And we'll just fire that in the second hole. And they went in a bit easier. So, what we've got so far is the wire that came up from there and the one there. So we've got the first two holes secured by this wire. We then have the first holes filled there. Comes over to there. We've got those two in there. So it leaves us one on this side, and then we've got two on one side and three on the other of the next one. And that's what we're going to be sorting out now. And the first two that we're going to be doing are the two that come out of the top of here that we put in a while ago. And they are going to go into the second two holes once I put this one back in the first one. And apparently they should reach. <laughs> um, I just... I'm being picky, I know, and I, I only apologize, but just not, they don't hold the wires like tight, so someone's kind of messing around with your model and just knocks it a little bit. 
these wires are all going to come out so I, I'm quite happy they're glued uh, I might in future not right now I'm so sick of this issue <laughs> I might go back in future and glue these all in so there's no movement of them Oops. oh come on don't be like this let's be friends why come on we'll go to a party you don't want to go to a party huh you really don't come on all right that's in ha <laughs> so that is those two in and that's that side fulfilled uh, we now have one more to do and what that's going to do this one here four ends it's going to fulfill the three wires in there and one in the final hole on this side here so we'll do these hopefully it should be nice and quick he said hoping 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 uh, which is going to be the best way use this one over on the far side don't think it matters too much as long as it goes in the hole and that one yeah lovely and easy on that one so now we'll just fire up the line hopefully these will all go in just as smoothly i just think the amount of things you could have done while watching this issue like moved house or <laughs> Mine are really long that I've left out here. I don't think they're meant to be this long at all. So now if I can just give us a bit of a tug without affecting too much. Come on, that's it, pull down. Oh, I've lost one, that's okay. It's not a massively important one. Come on, that's it. And you're back in there. Because then we are done. Come on, let's do it. A bit more give, there we go. Back in there. <gasps> awesomeness. Right, those are all in there as well. What I do need, I have one more cable tie. Um, I should have done this. This would have been um, a while ago, but I say I've messed up the kind of the order of this. I think it's just some frustration of trying to get things done um, because it was taking so much time. So what we're going to do is get these nice and pulled tight. They should be going right across the bottom of there. They don't. That's fine. It's my car and it looks a bit different. That's okay. I can handle. So last of these cable ties. Uh, these should be going around here. So I'm guessing something's going to go in here probably. Oh, sorry. In there somewhere at some point. And uh, where's this one to be? This wants to be just on the crux of here. So around about here so I'm just gonna fire this again just inside there and bring this all neatly down like that and just clock those guys together and pull those through so I've got plenty of yeah and get those around nice and tight on there come in we're gonna snip this that's fired away. I can turn that round. I can look at that and go, wow, that's a lot of wires all over the place. But hey, oh my word, for now, this is us done. This is issue number 48, The Widowmaker. Um, not just a Widowmaker, this has been frustrating and tough. And wow, I did not enjoy this <laughs> issue at all. But hey, the wires are all in place. They're where they're supposed to be. They might not look the best wiring in the world, but I don't mind that so much. Again, these DeLoreans are all going to be fairly unique. Uh, when you look at them, just want to pull some of these wires a bit tighter. You know what? Fix it in post. Um, so yeah, they are the wires in place. That is issue 48 of Build the DeLorean from Eagle Moss from Back to the Future. All done. I need to go. I'm going to go do something that's not wires. <laughs> so until next time, thanks for watching. This has been the life of Brian.